Okay, so... Oh, jeez, I get aces again on my first hand. Um, here I am recording a final table that I just got to of a $10 tournament. Here is the tournament progress. There's nine people left here at the final table. Play my aces. And... I probably should have raised a little bit more. This guy... Oh, wow. Well, that's exactly what I wanted. Um, this guy's been kind of a calling station, so I didn't think he'd re-raise me, but I've been raising his blind a lot, so maybe he's not giving me any respect anymore. I think shoving's right play here. I just want to get it all in exactly against a hand like that. And that's not how I wanted it to come. So, I was just at a final table in a really great position to, uh, make a run, and I was going to record that. But now I'm very short at a final table, uh, and hopefully I can make a comeback <laughs> and have a video for you guys. Uh, so yeah, here's the tournament stat, or the tournament progress. Um, nine people left, there was 391 to begin with. There's only a $10 tournament, one of the smaller ones I played today. Uh, here's the payouts. Uh, first is about $1,000. Ninth, which is what I'm looking to get right now, it's about 66. Um, Jeez. That was about as good of a spot as I can really hope for, I guess. I might even be able to get a couple of folds here, yep. Wow. My situation's definitely changed. If I could come back from that beat, that would be nice. Um, and I think I. Oh. And this turn over here is just the only other tournament I'm still in today. I'm pretty short in this one as well. Uh, I'm 20th out of 23. This is a 10k guaranteed. It's a rebuy tournament. Uh, I usually make it pretty deep in this tournament. Uh, actually, we're three away from the money. So, although I'm really short, we are close to the money. Um, so I'll be talking about these two tournaments while things are going. Uh, if I am able to stay alive. Uh, I probably will only be recording as long as this this tournament's going, unless this one gets a little more interesting. Um, if I am able to stay alive long enough, uh, these videos will only be 14 minute segments because YouTube won't currently let me post videos that are longer than uh, 14 minutes. So we will see. Well, I'm gonna fold. I'm gonna hope someone calls. Try to move up the ladder a little bit. Ninth place is a very frustrating position to get. So is eighth, though. Definitely a rooting. Oh, no call. I also don't like calling there because it gives me no um, fold equity at all. I'm just calling away my chips. I might have had the best hand, but, you know, it wasn't a very promising situation, really. And if people are folding to about that many chips, you know, I have some fold equity if I do it in that spot. Don't really want to have to go through blinds again, though. Over here, I'm also pretty short. I also am playing wide over here in the sense that we are very close to the money. So it would have been a little bit more exciting if I could have won that uh, big all-in pot because, you know, I've had some just play with here, I'm going to shove back on. This guy hasn't raised a lot, but I just feel like he's in a really good position. I think I'm ahead of his raising range here. Even if he's a fairly solid player, I think he's just going to raise it with a lot. And I just have to get up, caught up so many times and I'll pick up a lot of chips. Here I definitely got to go with it. I got to hope. I can get folds all the way around, which is probably fairly unlikely, but I could easily just get called by two overs and have a decent shot to get some chips and get back in this tournament. And let's see. Just a call. King nine, okay. Uh, that's a bad turn. And a bad final table for me. Well, I thought this would be a little bit more exciting of a video. Um, yeah, so I got ninth in that tournament right there. Um, fun times. So, 
yeah, that was my final table experience that I wanted to show you. And, uh, yeah, if something interesting happens in this tournament, I'll uh, post that video too. But for now, I'll just end this one, I guess.